Post a picture of your project with hashtag Club Crochet for a chance to win a free 30-day membership to clubcrochet.com. Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a mini uh, cartoon looking amigurumi heart. If you want to follow along with the written version of this pattern, use the link on screen now in the description below or by going to clubcrochet.com slash heart. From that page you're going to be able to find the written version of this pattern as well as a few other heart patterns I have including a full size anatomical human heart, you can see a picture of it right here, and a miniature anatomical heart that I'm working on uh, for uh, to come out this Valentine's Day. All right. So for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm using worsted weight cotton yarn in, uh, in one color, only in color pink. I'll be making a pink heart in this video. Because I'm using worsted weight yarn, I'm using a size whoop, G four millimeter crochet hook. You can use a smaller crochet hook as well. You can get uh, tighter stitches with that. You'll also need a darning needle. I suggest using a crimped end darning needle, one with like a little bent end like that. It helps you sew in the end. You'll also need a pair of scissors, some stuffing, and something to stuff it with. I suggest using maybe like a little stick. This pattern is pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to be going relatively slow in this video so that it can be accessible for relative beginners as well. Um, if you have any questions in this pattern, let me know in the comments down below uh, and I can help as much as I possibly can. All right, uh, one more thing that I wanna show off. You can make it really, really tiny. Look at this little miniature one I made for my girlfriend. Um, I was thinking this could be cute uh, earrings. Uh, she wants a necklace, so I'm gonna turn it into a necklace, but it could be cute earrings as well. All right, well, without further ado, there's only one part of this pattern, so let's go ahead and start crocheting uh, our heart. Okay, so we're gonna start with our pink yarn here. And we're gonna start with the magic loop method. For the magic loop method, you're gonna take your hand, palm up, and you're gonna hold the yarn like a little finger gun, you know, like pew pew. We're gonna take the yarn and we're gonna wrap it around your index finger three times. One, two, three. We're gonna take that end and hold it with our index and middle finger our ring and middle finger rather, and pull it in like that so you're holding it down. Now you can take your crochet hook and place it under the two first loops, one and two, and grab a hold of that last loop and pull it under those two first loops. Now we're gonna grab another end of that first yarn like that, we're gonna hook on, and we're gonna pull it through the loop like so. Okay, see how I kind of pulled my finger in and I kind of scooped it under. And that's going to create a chain and you can pull it off of your hand now. And you're gonna have a little loop like this. Okay, so for round one of our heart, we're going to single crochet six times into the magic loop. Now, if you feel more comfortable using the chain two method, you'll also, you can do that as well. And you'll be single crocheting six times into this uh, second chain from the hook. Okay, so for crocheting into this magic loop, see how there's like a really big hole here? We're gonna go around these two ends Take your crochet hook, go into the hole, grab the end that's attached to the ball of yarn like that, pull it under the two, and pull it through again, or yarn over again, and pull through the two loops to make a single crochet. Okay, so that's gonna make a single crochet. You're gonna wanna do six of those. So there's one, let's do it again. We're gonna go into the hole, grab an end, pull it under, grab an end, pull under two. There's two. There's three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to close this magic loop up. The way you like, I like to do that is I pull this end here and it's gonna tighten one of these two ends. Don't pull it too tight. Just, you just wanna know which end is gonna be pulled in. So when you pull it tight, I'm, I like holding it right at the base here. Pull it in and you'll see, see that end? This one got pulled in. That's the one you wanna grab. So grab that one and pull it down towards you, okay? So pulling it down towards you is gonna close the second loop. It's gonna close it up. Try to close it as much as you can. And then grab the other end, like the end tail end here, and that should close the last loop up and close your hole. And there you go. 
All right, so that's going to be the end of round one. For round two, we're going to be doing an increased stitch into each stitch that you made in your previous round. For this pattern, we're working in the round, meaning that you don't need to turn around for the entire piece. We're just working in a spiral all the way around. So we're going to count back six stitches because that's how many single crochets we made in our first round. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you can kind of see, see that V right there? This is the hardest part of, of crocheting, I, I think. You want to get under that V. You want to get under both loops of that V. Okay, so you might need your nail. There you go. You can kind of see how you're under both of those loops. And we're going to do a single crochet, two single crochets actually, into that same loop. So we're going to yarn over, pull it through, yarn over a second time, and pull through two loops on the hook. Okay, so that's one single crochet. We're going to do one into the exact same hole, so go where your single crochet was just made, right there, and do a second single crochet. There's two. Okay, so that's two single crochets in that first one. We want to do an increase into each stitch around, so we're going to move on to the next stitch here. Make sure you go under both of these loops, yarn over and pull through, yarn over a second time and pull through the two loops to finish that single crochet. Okay, so there's our first single crochet. Let's do another one to that same one to make an increase. There's our second increase. And we're going to keep doing that around. We want, we want six increases total, which is going to bring you up from six stitches from round one to 12 stitches by the end of this round, round two. So there's one and two, and that's going to be our sixth stitch. Here we go. There's seven, and then another one in that same loop. There's eight. Next stitch. Nine and ten. And then finally, 11 and 12. Okay, now we're going to cut this end. We don't need it at all. So we're just going to cut it nice and close. We don't need that. Throw it to the side. And that's going to be the end of round two. For round three, it's really easy. We're just going to be doing a single crochet into each stitch around. So we're going to start in the first stitch right here. Just do a single crochet into that stitch. And then into the next stitch right here. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way around. There's going to be 12 single crochets total. This is my third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and here is 12. That's going to be the end of round three. Okay, so now here's the, here's the thing. We want to make two of these. So for this first one, we're going to take our scissors and just cut it loose. And we're just going to pull it all the way through, just like that. Okay, that's going to make it into a little knot. Now I want you to repeat and make it all the way till where we, right before we cut it right there. Okay, and we're gonna make a second one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and do that exact same thing that I did from rounds one, two, and three. I'm gonna repeat that again, doing the six single crochets, then an increase into each, and then regular single crochet into each stitch. And then I'll be back in just a second and we're gonna connect them together to make a little heart. So you'll have another one right here and we'll just connect it and make it into a heart. All right, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I'm at the end of round three again for our second heart half. And this is going to be the end of round three right there. Now we're going to take our first heart half that we made and our second one. Our second one's still attached to the yarn. Make sure that it's still attached. And we're going to continue crocheting into our first half with our second. Okay, so we're going to take these two together. And we're going to go into the next stitch on the first half right here. Okay, so this is our last stitch. We want to go into the next stitch right here as if we were continually crocheting around it. We're going to take our end, not this tail end, okay, so just ignore that tail end for right now. We're going to take the end that's attached to the ball of yarn, make sure it's over it like that, and we're just going to do a single crochet into this, into this stitch, okay, so we're just going to yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over again and pull through two. Okay, so then there you go. See, so we're connecting it like that. We're going to do nine single crochets into this first half. So there's our first one. One, we'll just keep going around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There should be three more stitches into this first half. So one, two, three. Okay. We're going to skip those three stitches and we're going to skip three stitches on the other half as well. So here is where our last stitch was on the other half. So we're going to skip three. So one, two, three. Okay. So skip one, two, three. And into the fourth, we'll continue crocheting into the other half. So right here, get your crochet hook in there. Again, that's skipping three, one, two, three, four. And we're just going to single crochet one into this other half. Okay, using this uh, the end attached to the ball of yarn. So just one single crochet. Now we're going to pull our loop out like that so it doesn't come apart. We're just going to take our crochet hook out and place it to the side for a second. Because now we want to sew these two together. See these two, these three stitches that we skipped? We want to sew them together using the other tail end from our first half of the yarn. So we're going to take that that tail end and thread it onto our darning needle. And here's how I like to sew it together. Find where it's coming out. And I like going into the first stitch right here, okay? And into the bottom right there. So not not into that top, but into the bottom there. There you can't really screw this up too bad, but it's basically you're just sewing it together. So there, I pull through there. Then I go through the next top stitch. Make sure to go bo under both of these two, under the full V like that, and then into the other one like that. I'm just basically sewing these together. Next stitch, and then next stitch. Next stitch and next stitch. And then finally, I like to go really right up to the base there to make sure there's no uh, holes left over into that, right like that. And we can pull it relatively tight. We can just take our needle off the end there. Stuff that little tail end in there. Now make sure you don't cut this too short just yet because we want to crochet around it as we continue along. We grab our crochet hook, go back into our piece. We've single crocheted one right there. You can see where that end is. Now we want to continue crocheting into uh, our piece, but going around this tail end to lock it into place, okay? Around the tail end that we just used to sew it together. We just want to work around it. So let's go into the next piece, next stitch right here and do a single crochet and make sure that you're working around that tail end, at least for like three stitches. So there's one, right, like that, two, one more is three. Okay, that was pretty good. Then we can cut this end. We don't really need this anymore. We'll throw that to the side. And we'll just keep crocheting around. Okay, so we've done, technically we've done four. So we've got one, two, three, four into our second half. Four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and that's going to be the end of i believe technically this is round four because we did round one two and three twice okay so you can see it connected now there should be 18 stitches around so if you count the little v's starting from right there there's this is our first stitch right here i'm gonna use that needle right here there's our first stitch there should be 18 around so we can go ahead and count one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's make sure that's in there and get this out of the way. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay. Go back to it. And now we'll continue around. All right. For round five, we're going to be decreasing it down just just a little bit. Okay. 
So we're going to start by single crocheting three times. So one, two, and three. Now we're going to do something called an invisible decrease. For an invisible decrease, we're going to take your crochet hook and we're going to go into the front loops only of the next two stitches. So we're going to take our crochet hook and go only under that front loop. Okay, only under that first one. Not under the not under both, but only under that one. Okay, so first loop. Then we're gonna go around and go under the front loop of the next stitch as well, right here. Okay, you might need your nail for that. Under the two front loops there. And we're going to yarn over and basically just do a single crochet into those front loops. Like that. There we go. And that's an invisible decrease. We're going to be doing that again in just a second. So we want an invisible decrease. So we did three single crochets, an invisible decrease. Now we'll do seven more single crochets. Keep going around. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to do another invisible decrease into this stitch. Okay, so we're just going to go into the front loop of this one, front loop of the next one, okay, two front loops, and then do a single crochet. There we go, and that's going to decrease it down. So we're essentially removing a stitch to our piece. And now to finish up this round, we're going to do four more single crochets. So we got one, two, three, and four. That's going to be the end of that round. Now you should have 16 stitches around. So we went from 18 stitches, but we decreased twice. So now we should have 16 stitches around in the circle. Okay. All right. So for our next round, we're going to go ahead and do two single crochets. One, and two, and then an invisible decrease. Okay, front loop, front loop, and then a single crochet. And we're going to repeat that process of doing two single crochets and then an invisible decrease four times total. Okay, so there's our first repeat. Let's do our second repeat. Single crochet, single crochet and then invisible decrease. Front loop, front loop, front loop, and then single crochet. Okay, so there's our second repeat. So single boop, 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 boop. Let's do another one. There's our third repeat here. Two single crochets, one, two, and then an invisible decrease. Front loop, front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, one more repeat of that, two single crochets, one, two, and then invisible decrease. And this is going to bring you down from 16 stitches to 12 stitches. So by the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches around, okay? We're just about done. We only have one more round left of crocheting. So for our final round here, we're going to be doing an invisible decrease into each stitch around. That's six invisible decreases total. Now, it's kind of hard to get your finger in there, especially if you're using worsted weight yarn like this. It can be, get a little small. So how I like to do it is I hold it from the bottom right here instead, and I go into the front loop. So the next two stitches, so we got front loop, front loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's going to be the first one. Now we're going to move over. Front loop, front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Move over again. Front loop, 
I like to use my nail just to get make sure I get under there. Front loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there's our, I think that's our third invisible decrease. There's number four, front loop, front loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we're almost all the way around. See how it's kind of, it's like, it's impossible now to for me to get my finger in there. So I, I just changed the position of the hole to make it easier. Front loop of the next stitch. Front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Last one, this one's the probably the trickiest one. Here's our next stitch right here. I'm gonna go a little, a little closer here. Like that. I pulled my loop out just to get a better um, movement of my hook. Make sure I use my nail. Front loop. Front loop. And then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be the end of our single crochets, uh, of, of our crocheting in general. Now we can take our yarn, cut it. You want enough just to sew it close, that's probably enough. Let's pull that through. And now we're going to go ahead and stuff it up. Now I like to use the back of my crochet hook to make sure, you know, that I can get in there. And we're going to take some stuffing. You don't need too much, like this is probably more than enough. Take a little bit of stuffing and just make sure that each of the um, halves of the heart are stuffed up all the way. So we're just going to take my back of the crochet hook. If you have a pencil, um, the eraser end of a pencil is also very useful. Just want to make sure that we get all that stuffing in. The reason why you want to use the eraser end is because you want something that can like grip the stuffing a little bit better. Okay, so that's that's that half pretty stuffed full. Now we'll switch over to the other half. Oopsies. Like that. It might be easier if you have like a little stick. Um, that also works. Okay. There we go. That's pretty stuffed in there. We can add just a little tiny bit more. Okay. There we go. And now finally, let's sew it closed. We're gonna take our end, put it on the needle. And to sew it closed, I like to count three stitches over. So starting from right here. Okay, so this is our next stitch. You know, we'll, uh, we'll count this as stitch number one. So one, count over three. One, two, three. We're gonna go in through the top and go straight across to where we made our last stitch, okay? So let's say that's a zero stitch, okay? Because it's one less than one. Pull it through. Don't pull it too tight just yet. Leave it a little loose. Next, go into the next stitch over right here. Go in through the top and go out through our first stitch right there. Now, once you have that through, you can pull that first one tight. Pull that through. Okay, don't pull that too tight now. Now we'll go into the next one. So this is where we went into last time. Now we'll go into this next one right here, in through the top, and then out through, stitch right across from it, we'll, next to where we came out right here. Okay, so right there. Pull that through, and now we can tighten it. Oopsies, tighten too much. Okay, let's pull that through. Let me get my needle back on this darning needle, my bad. Okay, and to finish it up, we're just gonna go in through the next stitch over, right here. Okay, so this is where we came out, so right here. We're gonna go straight down and out through somewhere on the on the heart. Doesn't really matter where, you can pretty much make it anywhere. We're just gonna pull that first one tight and pull that one through and pull that one tight. And now you can go back through the bottom if you want, but I am pretty confident that's gonna stay tight together. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it really close. Okay, you can see the end just barely sticking out there, but if I just squish it a little bit, it gets disappeared right into there. 
And there we go. We have a miniature crocheted heart. Thank you so much for crocheting this pattern along with me. If you like this pattern, make sure to like the video down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss it when I come out with new ones. And you can join the email list at by going to clubcrochet.com to uh, get email notifications when I come out with new patterns. You can also join the email list by creating an account on my site, which you'll need to do anyhow if you want to download the PDF version of this pattern. Uh, you can also get a bunch of other patterns by becoming a Club Crochet member. Club Crochet members get early access to future patterns. They'll get early access to this pattern, for example. They get exclusive amigurumi tutorials like this anatomical human heart pattern right there. That's a club crochet pattern. They also get monthly kits mailed directly to their door. So this month was actually this anatomical human heart. So they got all the materials that they needed mailed directly to their door so that they could crochet it along with me. Uh, each month they get a new one. Uh, plans start at only $5 a month, uh, but you can get a free trial, actually, if you go to just clubcrochet.com. Thanks again for watching. Pasta la pizza. I've been Louie, and um, yeah, happy hooking. Bye.